Youth is an Art is the title of the exhibition dedicated to 30 years of Manor Prize in Aarau, northern Switzerland. The prize awards 15,000 francs to an emerging Swiss artist and pays 25,000 for an exhibition and the catalogue's publication. The Manor Group also buys one art piece for its collection. The prize is highly respected in the arts world. The event's organiser is a private company, Maus Freer. Our support of artistic creation is real patronage. We don't exploit the artists or their shows or the institutions in any commercial way. Pippi Lottirist and many other Swiss artists got a boost to their careers thanks to this prize. I think this is one of the most important awards in Switzerland. All stages of the development of a young artist are covered. Above all, it gives you confidence in your work. The Manor Group's commitment to the arts costs 400,000 francs a year, according to Swiss TV estimates. Culture has become, like sports, a visibility issue for many brands, to the extent that the University of Basel in 2008 created a centre to study the phenomenon. Sponsorship is not a new phenomenon. For decades, companies have been funding the arts, but today it is more in the open. Businesses communicate more about it. Art as a means to improve your PR remains an uncontrollable, provocative and sometimes political issue. Art doesn't necessarily go in the direction you want. One striking example from 2011. Lacoste was partnering with the Musée de l'Elysée in Lausanne for a photography prize. But the work of one of the candidates was considered too political and was ruled out of the contest by the company. I was told Lacoste had decided to take my work out, not because it was against Israel, but because it was too pro-Palestinian. After this episode, the award was cancelled. Contacted by Swiss TV, neither the museum nor Lacoste wanted to talk about it. Companies active in philanthropy are not immune to this kind of faux pas. The credibility of a prize depends on how independent the jury is. Art experts should decide who financed the prize rather than company executives. To avoid a conflict of interest, companies active in arts patronage often prefer to support established institutions. For example, 40 to 45 percent of the budget of the Museum of Contemporary Art in Geneva, known as MAMCO, comes from sponsors. We don't just have to balance our budget. It's also essential to ensure our freedom. I think we have freedom of action, because we've got public as well as private aid. Corporate arts patronage works when the donors totally trust their partners while remaining discreet. In the end, something very Swiss. <laughs>